Hello world, this is Jeffrey, jgb 146 Blake for Hoopa Hideout, coming to you today with an exciting pack opening experience. Now this isn't anything like what PokeRev does, because frankly I'm not PokeRev, but I have some things he doesn't have. First of all, I have the results of the largest pre-release event that Tulsa metro area out here in Oklahoma has produced since Guardians Rising. We had 43 players at our first pre-release yesterday, and then we had 16 at the second pre-release. And all together, we had 70 kits that were um, going through the store. I think that was like 60, little, right around 60 that sold yesterday. And obviously, the other 10 will be gone pretty soon. So I have 42 packs that I got for holding the events. Not only that, because, yeah, PokeRev's going to get pr plenty of product to open. But I have a secret weapon that he doesn't have. And that is Cozy Games Mom, here to help out with the opening. So, we have a full booster box, and then we have six additional packs. We'll open up the booster box, we're going to split this down the middle, and... Uh, but what if I get the bad half? You get to pick which half you have. But if it's the bad half because you picked wrong, well, that's on you. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> okay, okay. What about these ones? We're going to pick three. Okay, I gotta look at them. I don't know all these Pokemon, because these are like the Scarlet and Violet, like, weird ones. Yeah, these are the ones from DLC. So there's uh, Iron Leaves, okay. Walking Wake. No, oh, I definitely need one of these. Um, okay. Raging Bolt. Okay. And Iron Crown. Oh. Okay. Well, you, I'll take. What was this one? Walking Wake. Yeah. That's okay, I'll the take Walking Wake, wake. and you can have the Iron Crown. Okay. okay. And then I have to pick a side. Yes. Well, who's in the front of this one? Oh, well, clearly because this Walking Wake guy is in the front, I'll take this side. So I'll just do this side. It's on my side. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and pull the packs out. Okay. And I guess it is Pokemon, so we should roll for who goes first. Oh no. Get one of the handy dandy Professor dice. Oh, special. Do you want to roll or do you want me to roll? You can roll and I'll choose okay. Tails. Tails? Yeah. Watch Tails fail. No. That's not how this works. Oh, oh Tails no. fails! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Can we go back and rewind the video? <laughs> uh, we, do it again. We could, but we're not. Man. I get to go first. Okay. We'll start with the pack that I got because you chose Walking Wake instead of oh, okay. Iron Crown. So I'll do my Walking Wake one here. All right. Okay. We are gonna get. We are not going to give away all of the codes, uh, but we are gonna give away this one. We're going to be flipping things so that, well, no, we'll just turn it all eventually so that it's all, like, after you open, turn it so that they're this way. Oh, okay. So we get a Slugma, a Solosis. I don't know if Becky's ever heard of this Pokemon. Yes, I have heard of that one. Oh, okay. Because is that, wait, is that the, that's the basic. And then it, like, change, like, there's multiple, right? <coughs> yeah, it, it evolves eventually into Reuniclus. Oh, okay. Well, I would never be able to pronounce that. We'll go with Bubble. Solosis. Bubble. Skyther. <laughs> Skitty. Explorer's Guidance, look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them in your hand, then discard the other four. A col Colossal, I didn't realize there was Colossal in the set. Perilous Jungle, during Pokemon checkup, put two more damage counters on each poisoned non-dark Pokemon. Sableye, with the damage collection, you may move any number of damage counters from your opponent's benched Pokemon to their active. An Excadrill. Ooh, and a Walking Wake EX. From Wait, the you got non my card. Wake. Well, that's not fair. That's pretty cool. That is cool. And then Dark Energy, because Dark Energy. Okay, maybe I'll get, um, what was that pack? The crown guy? Yeah. Maybe I'll get that. Do I have to do the weird thing? I didn't. No, like, the, there's no... There's no weird, like, thing? Okay. So I have to do it this <coughs> way, apparently. So I'll read it upside down. Bramblin. Oh, Draparig. This is where I just, no, I can't. The Rose thing. Roselia. Cutie Fly. Great Tusk. I don't know if any of these are good, so... Uh, Great Tusk is actually oh. a pretty strong meta deck. Okay. It's not going to be... I mean, it's not a hit, per okay. se, but we'll it's like it a half hit. Okay, and then we got Morty's Conviction. So with Morty's Conviction, you can use the card only if you discard another card from your hand. So if he's the last card in your hand, too bad. But if you have oh. another card, you can discard, and then you draw a card for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I'm sure we'll see decks that revolve around that. Shiftry, um, the Chinchilla thing... Shout out. Oh, and then I didn't get a good one. I just got Bramblegast. So I'm so, not doing wait, so well my first this one. This Pokemon 
gets plus 50 hit points for each prize card your opponent has taken. I mean, that adds up. Yeah. And then powerful needles, flip a coin for each energy attached, 80 damage for each head. Okay, that's... <laughs> okay. But the, the Mencino, it's not the, the best. Oh, okay. Uh, but Chinchino is also a meta. Oh, a very, okay. very meta. He's the partner for Lugia in this oh. set. And he's what propels Lugia into being... Like a good like deck? Top deck. Oh, okay. One of the best. Okay. So. Okay, but I'm still not winning because you have that's right. EX. Okay. I guess we're both going to go with our uh, Raging Bolt. Okay. Which is Raikou? Yeah. It's, it's like. It's an it's it's ancient form of. Ancient form, that's the right thing. Of Raikou. Uh, somehow okay. changed into a giraffe tiger. Okay. Has he always had a giant mustache? <laughs> his, um, his mustache is pretty big. It is pretty big. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm not sure if he's always had a mustache okay. of that proportion. I don't know. It's pretty big. Um, so what we're going to do from here on, we share the code card if we get a hit. Okay. Energy is fighting. I guess we could have played the game, but... <gasps> That's okay. That would make this video like five hours yeah. long. So. so we got a Drill Burr. When you play, you can... Whoa. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may search your deck for up to three basic fighting energy cards and discard them. That's a pretty good setup for fighting fighting decks that are going to use like Stuff the Coridon the EX oh. and his ability to attach from the discard. Oh. Okay. Relor... Bonita, Chatot. I got Be one of those too. Bianca's Devotion. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon that has 30 HP or less remaining. The re Uniclus that we were just like seeing the pre four, the pre evolution four. Oh, wait, does it, is it split in two? What does it look like? Oh, no, not split in two. I think it has thinking, arms now. I think you're thinking of the uh, du Duosion. Oh, okay. The okay. stage one. Okay. So, Reuniclus is interesting. I don't know if it'll ever see any play, but. You look at it's like a great ball sort of you look at the top eight instead of seven oh. uh, and you can put any number of pokemon you find directly on your bench any number can include zero <laughs> but the directly on your bench if you find a stage two you can put it directly on your bench oh that's cool that includes like ex's like you could go from nothing on the bench to four stage two ex's wow got another explorer's guidance a grubbin and a Carvana. Oh, and an Iron Thorns is like a half hit. Okay. Um, so his Destructo Press Attack does 70 damage for each future card that you find in the top five cards of your deck. So you reveal those top five, 70 damage for each future Pokemon, and then you discard those future cards and shuffle the rest back in. So this is the energy card, right? Yep. So, okay. Metal energy. Ooh, I got it right. <laughs> After I saw it. Oh, and I have to do it this way. Okay, Slugma. Oh, there's the this. And the Skitty. And an Electabuzz. An Electivire. Chinchino. Ooh, that one. Pull that one Why aside. is that one good? So, his attack special roll okay. does 70 damage for each special energy card that is attached to him. Oh. He gets played with Lugia V-Star, who summons Archaeops from the discard pile. Oh. And Archaeops has the ability, primitive charge, once per turn, you can attach two special energy cards directly from your deck onto a Pokemon. Oh. So you get two of the Archaeops in play, you're boosting your damage by 280 each turn, plus any attachments you do manually. That's cool. So Chintino can instantly hit for like 350 damage. Okay, we got a Sableye, an Elgium, and we got a Bolton, and then we got a... Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant. Does that count as a hit? Or that, no? That's like a half hit. A half hit. Okay, we're putting it in here, I guess. Okay. Um, what, is, what does he do? I haven't I read know. this one. Uh, top four cards for one psychic. Top four cards of your deck. Put them back in any order. So you get to kind of determine how your next couple turns are going to go. Okay. And then Majestic Sword. 100 damage. Plus, if you play a future supporter card from your hand during the turn, it does 100 more. That's for two psychic and one colorless. So you can hit 200 damage relatively easily in a deck that's constructed for it. Okay. Okay. My side seems to have more cards than your side. Yeah, but I think it all adds up to about, about <laughs> the same. Okay, okay. Because yours are like half hits. And half the, hits, the, okay. The Mentino Chentino line is, counts as one together, in my book at least. Okay. I opened that like totally off camera. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Energy is fire. Okay, we've got an Electabuzz, a Bramlin, Giraffereg, Roselia. This Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from opponents. Pokemon, the attacking Pokemon is Poison, Unpheasant, Eerie. So this card has gotten some hype for uh, decks like the Great Tusks Mill deck, where your opponent reveals their hand and you discard up to two items that you find there. 
So Great Tusk and Snorlax Stall will be playing this card for sure. We have a Scentus Scorch. Uh, it doesn't look too amazing. It doesn't have a 2 energy 180 damage attack. Beldum that we're going we're gonna to consider a partial line. If we can get the Matang, that's okay. like a half hit. Um, because the Matang lets you accelerate metal energy endlessly and amazingly. We have the Rebuska, Rebuska, um, that prevents all damage from and attacks of, effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to your bench Pokemon. So it doesn't, it blocks damage counters, it blocks um, de-evolution TMs, it blocks like everything, uh, as well as damage itself. And then we have a Roaring Moon basic uh, with the Vengeance Fletchling Fletching attack. 70 damage plus 10 more for each ancient card in your discard pile. So that's another half hit. Okay. That and grass if you're playing. And then we got Rock Rough, Litten, Shroomish, Lickitung, Rapidash, Bolton, Mudsdale, Drillbur. Did we like Jilber? Or was that a different one? Uh, he didn't count as a hit. Oh, okay. But... Roaring Moon, and then the Mel Metal. So my Roaring Moon goes over here too, right? Yeah. Okay. So I was able to pronounce all those and you didn't stop me, so I'm guessing there wasn't a lot of, a lot of awesome ones in that one. No, not so much. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now we're breaking into, from the, the loose extra packs, we're breaking back now into the actual booster box. And my side's gonna be the awesome side. I'm looking at hopefully, you, side. Hopefully they're both awesome sides. Well, okay, that would be awesome. I think every pack should contain a hit. That's, Every pack should contain that's, a hit. That's what I'd like to see. That would be awesome. Let's we'll see if we can start it off that way. <laughs> the energy is metal again. Woo! And we've got Victini, uh, the fairly mediocre Victini. Bronzor, Mudbray, Ghastly, Buddy Buddy Poffin. So this is the replacement for Battle VIP Pass. It lets you search your deck at any point, not just on your first turn, uh, to get two basic Pokemon, but they have to have 70 HP or less. We did have a situation in the pre-release where someone used a Buddy Buddy Poffin and uh, retrieved a, an EX and we're told they had to put it back in their deck and they didn't get to get anything else out because they had already shuffled. Oops. Does anyone else really want to eat the food that's on the cards? Because sometimes I just think they look delicious. I mean, sometimes I... I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, Zeraora, Sharpedo, Roselia, another Reuniclus, and another Iron Thorns. Okay, this is the pack. This is the one. It has my... What was it again? Walking Waste. I've already forgotten his name. <laughs> it was so important to you. <laughs> I'm just really bad at names, okay? Do you know my name? No. Should I know your name? Okay, here's the energy. Okay, we got a church wig. Oh, he's so cute. And a Puccina. And a Wiglet. And a C Dot. Is that a crocheted one? <gasps> it is. I'm taking that one. I love those ones. Okay. Sobs Book. Mist Energy. What's that? So, Mist Energy, you attach it to a Pokemon. Obviously, that's what you do with energy. <laughs> and it just provides a colorless energy, but it also prevents yeah. all effects of attacks other than damage. So once again, oh. evolution TM, nothing. Damage counters, nothing. Um, Burn, nothing. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, and most importantly, maybe, for the Roaring Moon EX that has the instant knockout attack, nothing. It doesn't affect you anymore. Oh, okay. Then we got, oh my gosh, okay, try and read this upside down, or read this upside down. Cypher Maniac's <laughs> Code Breaking. Ooh, that's a long card We thought it was going to be title. Crypto Maniac, oh. but um, nope, Cypher Maniac. Okay. So this lets you pick two cards out of your deck, any two cards, and put them on top of the deck. Oh. Which, if you have a way to draw a couple cards, can be pretty powerful. For sure. Or if you have, like, things you can set up, like uh, Matang's ability. This isn't Matang, this is oh, Matang, but you have also Matang. <laughs> and, well, this only counts as a hit if I can get a Matang. Right, 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 okay. Um. His ability says that look at the top four cards, attach any metal energies you find there. Oh, and okay. Put the other cards on the bottom. So then they would be ready. So you could guarantee that you're getting two yeah. metal. Okay. Build them. Another build them for so you to count as partial hit. Crocodile. And then an Iron Thorns. Right. So now, wait, do I have all of them now? Which one am I missing? Do I have all the things that, whatever these are? The future Pokemon? Ancient and future, right? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, so I'll gonna... Order, order them like this. Yeah, there we I'm going to pull out these two cards because I don't want them oh, okay. for play. Um, but clearly this was a hit for me because this, I like the artist that does all the crochet ones, so that's a hit for me. Yeah. You're doing it off camera again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, peeps. <laughs> I don't know if it matters, but... Congrats. Energy Aww. is lightning. 
Hello, Lick a lily. There's the matang, yo. You got it. I turned my nothing was into a hit. Got a charcoal, a charcoal, a grotto, another explorer's guidance. Iron hands, that's one of the ones you're missing. Oh, okay. Um, nothing amazing about this iron hands. I don't know if I would even consider it a hit. Oh, so but, I won't I mean, see a lot of play. I don't know. You might see ones of one yeah. of those. Uh, Morty's Conviction. <laughs> Shiny Iron Hands. Ooh. Skyther. Drampa. 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 He seems like he would just like like life. He always is he looks happy in all of the pictures. He's, he's the old cheery grandpa. <laughs> okay, here we go. Congrats. Okay. Got it again. Got Cottony, Carvana, Ekans, Turtwig, Scent of Scorch, Buddy Buddy, Buddy Puffin, Iron, Iron Thread, or Treads. That's a future Pokemon. I'll stick it here. I don't know if it, I don't know what it does. I, I honestly don't. You can read that while I do this. Okay, Grubbin, Mudsdale, and a... The Dunsparce. The Dunsparce. So, the Dunsparce, I think, will count as a half hit. Oh, okay. Um, once during your turn, you may draw three cards... And then shuffle this Pokemon and everything attached to it into your deck. So you, every time you have it to Dunsparce, you can just be like, I'm going to draw. Oh. And then he goes away, and you can like potentially set it up again. Oh, that's cool. So the Iron Treads. It has an attack for two energy. Move an energy from this Pokemon to one of your bench Pokemon and do 60 damage. And then it says as long as it has a future booster energy capsule tool attached, it is both fighting and steel type. So oh. it can hit double weakness. That would... Obviously, bring it up to 120 on the things that it presents weakness for. So maybe someone will make a cool deck with that in it. Yeah, the, um, I think it's more likely that we're going to see an ancient box deck for oh, single prizers. That's what we've been seeing. It's the future. And then the future box decks have mostly been two prize decks. Oh. Okay. But I mean, the meta's still brand new. True. Some people create very unique decks that oh, work for, sure. for them. So who knows? I'm going to say Psychic, just because we're flipping it anyways. Oh, no, Grass again. Okay. Alright, we have a Finizen, a Dunsparce, which doesn't count because we need the Dunsparce that goes with it. A Snob, <laughs> oh, Pikachu. a Pikachu, Always Pikachu. a Metagross, a Roserade. Yeah, we like the Matang more than the Metagross. Okay. Keldeo, hmm. a Reverse Lickalily, a Mighty Ina, and a Gengar EX. Nice. That's the most hideous hit we've had <laughs> since Walking Wake. Do you need... Um... So, you guys get the code card. Oh, there you go. Do you want to say some sleeves? Sure. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to open this one. Okay. That's over here. Do that. The middle. And we got an Arbok. Toad Dial. A Deerling. A Pidove. Oh. Him. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. Okay. A Rapidash. A Manchino. Oh, another C dot. dot. And a Mellow Metal. Okay, my side is failing so far, so maybe my next pack. I'm going to guess Metal Energy for this pack. Okay. Just because I've been following the yeah. energies that you pulled. Pretty... Interesting. I'm going to go with Psychic again. We haven't seen Psychic. I don't know. It would be strange if they were like exactly the same. Oh, fighting. fighting. <laughs> we both lose. Not any of those. All right, so we start with another Finism, just like last time. So maybe I'll get another EX. <laughs> Bronzor. Mighty Eno was in there last time. Yeah. The Duosion, or du something like that. <laughs> Is this the one you were thinking of? Yes, but it still isn't too, so he just gets bigger. I don't remember what they look like then. Shiftry, another Bianca's Devotion. Iron Jugulus. If this Pokemon's in the active and is damaged by an attack... Then put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. I definitely like the other Iron Jugulus that we have. That has a three energy attack that hits three bench Pokemon. I like it better. A Palafin, a Vanguard Punch that does 130 and then 10 to itself for each damage counter on it. That sounds horrible. <laughs> and then a 90 times flip two coins attack. Uh, we have the Pito, the Pito that Becky also pulled. That once during your turn, if this Pokemon's remaining HP is 30 or less, you may search your deck. To evolve it directly into Unpheasant or Unpheasant EX. Skipping the middle stage evolution. Interesting. And then the arguably best future one prizer, Maridon, who wow. lets you, who has the 40 damage, one energy attack that also will search your deck for up to two basic energies and let you attach them to your future energy Pokemon in any way you like. Hmm. That's interesting. 
Bum, bum, bum. Oh, I should have guessed that time. <laughs> okay. Pochina, Wiglet, Meltan, C dot. We got a lot of those C dots. Boxed order. So, your deck for up to two item cards, reveal them, put them in your hand, and uh, then your turn's over. No. Oh, okay. Rebombi, future, future booster, booster energy capsule. Another a great, great tusk. tusk. Let me pull that one out. A go lurk. And a ramble cast. Okay. Still waiting. Still waiting. <sighs> I almost went off camera again. <laughs> okay, what energy have, have we pulled all of the types of energy? Dark. I'm gonna go with dark. I don't think we've seen it. Dark. I'm gonna go with psychic, just because you know. <laughs> Come on, dark energy. Fire. Fire. Oh, that was the, one of the other ones we haven't pulled, I think, maybe. I don't know. Another Skyther. I don't know if that's the same artwork I've seen before, so we might have two different Skythers in the set. Salizapede, so those Cinescorches can see play. Meryl, yeah. that's a psychic type. Golet. Excadrill. Delmize, another Electrovire. Ooh, a spec Hero's Cape. That is a mega hit. That's really pretty. A Mag Cargo. Um, whenever your opponent's active moves to the bench, the new Pokemon is burned. And a Melmetal. Okay, so what does the Ace spec do? So Ace specs were introduced in black and white, and then obviously they eventually rotated, and now they're coming back. And so far, I think they're always trainer cards, but you get to play one ace spec in your deck. Only one. Okay. And they provide a massive effect. And what is so, this? A massive effect? Hero's Cape <laughs> just adds 100 hit points to whatever Pokemon it's attached to with no drawbacks whatsoever. Oh, wow. Previously, we've had you know things that would add 50 to basics, hmm. or uh, there's a tool that adds 100 to single prize Pokemon, hmm. but also makes them worth an extra prize. Because oh. this can be attached to any Pokemon. You can oh, put it on a it. 310 HP. And now it's 410. And it's 410, and it doesn't even increase <laughs> wow. the prizes taken. That's amazing. Okay. Dark. That's what I was going to say, but it was fire. Okay. Now you're following me. <laughs> Pineco, Mawile, uh, Metatite, Turtonator, he's so cute. Bolton, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance. Del Cade, Mudstain, oh, that's a hit. pretty pretty, and Coriadon to yeah, go with your Mariadon. We hadn't seen. So what is okay? So what is Coriadon? Is so it important? Coriadon has the two energy, one fighting, one colorless attack. It does thirty damage for each ancient Pokemon you have out. So it basically starts at thirty because he's an ancient Pokemon, and it can go up to one eighty, yeah. which is not bad for a single prize. Yeah, Pokemon. I'm gonna look at this Mudstain while you open. Alrighty. Oh. Um, they're working. They're putting hay up on the hay sack. Oh, I just realized I didn't share the code for the hero's cape. So oh. here that is. Do I need to share one for the mudstone? Yeah. Okay, so here's this one. Okay. Does that show it? Because that's got one. We've got a haunter. Oh, I didn't do the energy either. <laughs> it's water. Water. Didn't even give you a chance. Mm -hmm. uh, Different Pikachu? Than no, that was the same one because he one. has the like puppy eyes. <laughs> okay. Another Ghastly. The Ghastlies were like swarming on Pikachu. Like. Elgem, Lichen Rock. Attached two basic fighting energy from the discard. Uh, so not that great. Uh, Salvatore. Search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and has no abilities and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Uh, you can use this. So notably, you can use Salvatore on a Pokemon that you benched that turn. Oh, that's cool. So that's, yeah, pretty cool. Another Palafin, another Boxed Orders, Cottony, and Relicanth. So Relicanth is going to partner with a few different Pokemon, but most notably Incineroar EX, mm. uh, to make it so that you have a 300 plus HP Pokemon that can hit for like 20 or 30 times the number of damage counters on it. Wow. Um, so he's going to be a half hit. Okay. No cook for half hits, <laughs> That's okay. They got two in a row, so we can... Oh my gosh. I don't know how you open these without nails. We have a bunch of old with nails. Okay. Uh, okay. Dark. Haha, <laughs> it was not. Okay. <laughs> Don't dial. Deerling. Fidov. Pango. Iron Hand. Iron Hand. You that. don't. Oh. That's how you do. Oh, but that my future side. Rescue, Rescue board. board. They like to do boards a lot. Yep. So this really is retreat cost of whatever Pokemon it's attached to by one energy. Oh, okay. And if the Pokemon 
happens to have 30 or less HP remaining, then it, it's just free retreat. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Sandy Shocks. Man, Three I'm getting all the different Energy ones. attached, the 70 damage. And another Mariah right on. acceleration. And, and the, the Tang. You finally got the Matang okay. going with yours. And then I got and a, a tor 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 Torterra. Torterra, not yes. Torterra. Hey. Look at me, that was a fun pack just because I was filling out this yeah. part. I feel like we need like a bingo card or something. <laughs> like, okay, did you get this one? Did you get this one? Okay, we didn't really talk about this one, but while you're opening it, I'll see what this is. So this right. one does this attack, does 30 damage for each of your grass Pokemon in play, and then heal 50 damage from this Pokemon. So I don't know about that one. Wow, well, its retreat cost is four. That's a lot. <laughs> so there are some cards that are specific to four retreat cost oh, okay. Pokemon in the set. I don't remember what they are. That's cool. Um, and also, the, the thing that's noteworthy is that one of the best decks in the format is still Charizard EX, oh. which is weak to grass type. And oh, will be nice. knocked out by using those. By, yeah. Okay. Am I missing any now, or did I actually like fill this out before I you did? Don't, don't know. know. Okay. I think I think that's. I got five and five, so. I think that's okay. all of them. Doing pretty good. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, no, there's grass again. So many grass energies. Another Elgem, Meltan, Nuzleaf, Minchino, and Chinchino. Right back to wow. back. Wow, nice. A future booster energy capsule. A great tusk. A Whimsicott. I had a lot of writing on it. Yeah, when you, when you play it from your hand to evolve, you may heal all damage from your active grass Pokemon. In which case, you have to discard all energy from it. Hmm. And Arbok and a Macargo, whenever your opponent's active, we already did that. Active move, then it's burnt. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to say dark. I'm just going to keep saying dark until we actually get a dark one. <laughs> I don't know if that's really, you know. Oh, wait, did I, was I supposed to share a code card on this one? Yes. That was this one. Okay, sorry about that. This one. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, it was dark that dark time. Energy. Okay. Hoot hoot. We haven't seen you. Beldum. Breloom. A Roly Goly. A Perilous Jungle. A Colossal. An Unpheasant. A Maximum, maximum belt. belt. So this one makes. You can put it in there. Okay, this one does. 50 extra damage to your opponent's active Pokemon EX. Oh. So that, okay. that 50 number can come in pretty handy in certain areas. Uh, for instance, Charizard, when there's no increases coming, yeah. uh, Charizard EX does 180 damage before there are any like knockouts or anything. Oh. That doesn't really take any knockouts yeah. on the other EXs. Yeah. But if you up it by 50, now he's doing 230, and that knocks out all the basic EXs. Oh, okay. And then we got a Delmise and a Winsicata that we just talked about. Okay, so then I have to do this code card. This time I remembered. Since I got my ace back. Okay, my, my side's starting to look a little better. Yeah. A little better. Yeah. Hopefully, is I actually seeing like this whole thing? I think so. Okay. <laughs> my side's starting to look better. Uh, I would say fire. I don't know. Crass. You're both wrong. We're not good at this game. Solizipede. <laughs> Meryl, Golet, Dunsparce, Screamtail, but not the good one. Heavy Baton. Okay, this is what I was talking about. Uh, this tool says that if your po if your Pokemon has exactly four retreat costs and is oh. in the active spot and is knocked out, then up to three basic energy cards from that Pokemon can be moved onto your bench Pokemon in whatever manner you choose. So like if that Torterra got knocked out, then you could move its energy around. Right. Oh, okay. We've got an Iron Valiant, hmm. a Rescue Board. A pretty pretty licky tongue. <gasps> Ooh. And a the Dunsparce. That's fun. So we did just prove that I need this one because I don't have Screamtail and my stack of stuff over here. Okay. Oh, and then you have to do you have to share one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. I'm gonna go with lightning. It was not lightning. Okay. I was totally going to say Tiny on that. <laughs> Mawile, Meditate, Turtonator, a Hoot Hoot, a Rab... Rabaska. Rabaska. A Hand Trimmer. Are we now shearing our Pokemon? No, we're shearing our opponent's hands. This is, again, <laughs> a great card for uh, Mill decks and for Stall decks. You get to force your opponent to discard until they have only five cards in their hand. So a lot of times the tactic that is employed against those types of decks, the Control, the Stall, the Mill is to just hold a ton of cards in your hand and then oh. play like an Iono. And this sort of says, well, that doesn't work for you anymore. Oh, interesting. So this card is one of the reasons that Mill and Stall are getting a boost from this set. There's something back there. Oh, that's cool. 
Okay. For strip. For, oh. For stress. It's hard to read them upside down. Tranquil. Tranquil. And then Mr. Mr. Mime, Mime. And. And a flutter main. So we have two that I don't. Well, now I still have Screen Tail that I don't have. So we're just going to keep adding. Look at all these ancient Pokemon. They're adding up over here. They are. Oh, that's interesting. So as long as this one's on the active, your opponent has no abilities. Except oh, active Pokemon has no abilities, except for Midnight Fluttering. That's funny. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they've, they've done a lot of abilities that require you to be in the active. Yeah. So now, like, that's more powerful than it used to be. Hmm. I'm going to say metal. Hmm. Nope. Yeah. Rockruff, Litten, but not the good one. There's a good one, but it's an Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> Shroomish, okay. Lickitung, Delkitty, Explorer's Guidance, another Iron Hands, Ponita, Electabuzz, and now I got my Karat on. Cool. Okay. We're back to my walk walking wake, so maybe. Hey, am I? Oh, no. No, I think you just opened. I don't know. I wasn't actually paying attention. I just happened to notice. Okay. Grass. Nope. One of these days. Okay. Heat more. You did get the dark energy. Yamper. That's true. I did. Toracat. Grubbin. Eerie. Eerie. Is that what we said? Okay. Sent a scorch. Buddy 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 Pull that to the side. And Actually, that and the Eerie. Graferig. Can we go back? Uh, Sawsbuck. And then another Iron Valiant, which I already had in my little collection right there of all those. How many Ace Sparks are in? Is this the first time this is the Ace first Sparks set. have been released since before? Yes. Okay, and then how many I of them are there? I think there are seven. Seven, okay, so we have two. So there's these two. There's uh, the one that a lot of people want most is Prime Catcher, which do you remember Guzma? Yes. So Guzma was a supporter, for those of you who don't remember, uh, from the Sun and Moon era. Which is like when we kind of started? Did we start with Guzma or no? Um, we started with Lysander. Okay. And then Lysander rotated and um, then Guzma a few months released. later Guzma okay. came. Uh, but Guzma basically acted like a switch plus a Lysander or an escape rope where you're choosing what your opponent is putting yeah. forth. So what is the Ace spec? So the Ace spec, the same thing? it's an item oh. where you switch your Pokemon, but you also get to gust up one of your opponent's Pokemon. Oh, interesting. Now, it is sort of unique. You cannot play it just to do a switch effect. Your opponent has to have multiple Pokemon out for you to use Goose, the Prime Catcher. Oh, okay. Grass. It is grass. Did you see it? No. All right. Good, good job. <laughs> good job guessing. Snom. <laughs> Mudbray. Another Mancino. Rockruff. Sandy Shocks. Another Reuniclus. Another Mist Energy. Uh, Vicovolt. Another, oh, no, this is my first Iron Treads. Ooh, and a Maridon EX. Ooh. So, um, this isn't, I think the other Maridon, the electric type that we've had since base set, is probably still the Maridon to use, but in future decks you might want to have him. Um, so it's a Lightning and a Psychic Energy to do 60 damage plus 100 more if your opponent's Pokemon already has any damage or damage counters on it. Hmm. And then you have the same three energy attack, but it's a Psychic and a Lightning and a Colorless to do 220, <laughs> which is the same effect as the old Maridon, basically. There's more sleeves. Huh, that's cool. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta share the code. Oh, right, sorry. Moving I mean, ahead. That's on me as much as you, but. Okay. Dark? Fire. Okay. Beldum. Keep more Roly Coly. Azumarill. Full, Full Metal Lab. lab. Metal Pokemon. On both sides of the board, take 30 less damage. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Go Lurk, and a Shaman, and a Shroomish, and a Bronzor, and a Maridon, which I already have in my little collection, so I'm out of here. <sighs> okay, I'd like to see, like, one more Ace spec. That would be cool. I don't know, you know, just to see one, another one. I like that they're very easy to spot mm -hmm. in your deck, which is cool. Yeah, the, the design definitely will make them pop out. So yeah. when you're searching through, you can easily identify where it is in yeah. prizes or in your hand. Yeah. Cool. Fight. Uh, psychic. Oh, <laughs> uh -uh, you want those little buttons. Beep, beep. Charge Bug, Slugma, Solosis, Skitty, Morty's Conviction, Bianca's Devotion, Shiftry, Toracat, Skitty, and Drapa. Okay. 
that happy grandpa again. Good old grandpa. <laughs> telling, the, telling the best stories from his youth. Second. Dark. Oh, water. Okay, frost mouth. Knocked out. Crocodile. Licky licky. Iron Shreds. I have that one again already. Box Order. Probombi. The, the Dunsparce. Dunsparce. Another one of those. And then Dunsparce. And, and then the a Gengar. four Gengar yeah. EX. Nice. So I didn't read my Gengar, so I'll read oh, this one. Okay. Um, whenever your opponent puts energy from hand onto one of their Pokemon, it gets two damage counters. And then it has the Tricky Steps attack where it does 160 damage for two dark, and you move an energy from your opponent's active to one of their benched. So you're disrupting their energy and also damaging them when they attach energy. Huh. That's cool. <laughs> Gengar EX, I think, would have been a lot better, you know, before rotation when Mew VMAX was still a factor. Oh, yeah. Now, less so. But there may still be ways to make it work. I'm going to say fighting. Water? I got it. <laughs> fighting. Go me. That might have been my first one to get right. <laughs> first or second. Litten, Shroomish, Lickitung, Slugma, Cypher Maniax, Code Breaking, Sawsbuck, Behem, Melmetal, Shiny Pikachu, and then a Full Art Iron Crown EX. Finally the, the one that determined which side of <laughs> stuff I was getting. So Iron Crown EX has the ability that attacks from your future Pokemon, except for Iron Crowns himself, do 20 more damage. And it will stack. So if you have multiple Iron Crowns out, it can add 20, 40, 60, or even 80 damage. And then his attack does 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Um, it's not affected by weakness or resistance. Cool. Our um, area here is getting a little full. <laughs> That's good. That means we got lots of good cards. Oh, and the code card. Okay. Our off camera area is getting very messy. Okay. Uh, psychic. Dark. Oh, oh. It was dark. Hey, look at me. <laughs> dark after all the flipping around. Okay. Yamper, Grubbin, Metacham, Tranquil, that Cypher Maniac, Vicavolt, Great Tusk. Great Tusk. I already have that one. And Ekans, Screamtail, and Macargo. So even though... Well, the Great Tusk. Uh, well, I already have one. You're going to have to go through the stack anyways. Okay, never. That's Okay, fine. open that's another fine. one. Okay. My ancient file is... Okay. For those that are playing bingo at home, here we go. <laughs> okay. And Psychic. Nope, it was grass. Left Buzz, Framblin, Girafferig... Roselia, Bad Iron Jugulus, which I guess technically... Oh, I don't have one of those. Yeah. Lycanroc, Salvatore, Drillber, Cutie Fly, <laughs> and another Maridon. Huh. Which I'm just putting down here. Cause... Okay, you do your stacks how you want to do your stacks. I mean, basically, I think we're really just comparing to this. <laughs> except I don't know if I can give you credit for that C dot. Uh, uh, that's all the, the, cool, the cool people. Okay. Uh, fire. Water. <laughs> I almost said grass. Okay, we got Matang, Carkle, Grottle, Fenizen, Future Booster Energy Capsule, Iron Hands, Rescue Board, Morty's Conviction, Meltan, and, and Raging, Raging Bolt. Bolt. What does Raging Bolt do? So, Raging Bolt is the new heavy, heavy hitter. His first attack for a colorless energy. Uh, is more of a setup attack. It just lets you discard your hand and draw six new cards. Yeah. His second attack, though, is a uh, lightning and a fighting energy, and it does 70 times the number of basic energies you choose to discard. Now, it doesn't matter what type of energy you're discarding, and it doesn't matter. You're not discarding from hand. They have to be attached to a Pokemon somewhere. Oh, but, but any Pokemon anywhere. It can anywhere be anyone, anywhere. It can be the active, it can be on oh. the bench, and it can be any type. So that's where Raging Bolt is different from previous iterations of this archetype. Yeah. Because... It doesn't have to be, like, what it is. It doesn't have to be itself. It doesn't yeah. have to be a specific type. We've had a lot of Rayquaza, EX, GX, V-Star type of cards where it had to be, a, like, one type. So you'd have to have both Fire and Electric, for instance, oh, to okay. do the attack, but then you could only discard one of the types. Oh, interesting. So here, it can be either of those types or any other type, mm -hmm. and it can be a combination. So, like, there are decks that combine it with the 
last set's uh, Sandy Shocks that gets a fighting energy from the discard every turn as an ability. Mm -hmm. uh, there are decks that combine it with, with other methods of accelerating basic energy. Um, cool. But so it's like pretty easy to make those numbers go really big. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. And he has an awesome mustache. He does. His mustache <laughs> probably trumps my facial hair. There you go. I mean, name another Pokemon with a cooler mustache. You can put that in the comments. Yes. If you can think of one. Or, you know, and then I'll go look at some pictures of mustached Pokemon. Psychic. 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 That didn't work either. Okay. Slosis. Yeah, screaming at it did not work. <laughs> Skitty. Electabuzz. Ancient Booster Capsule, Rapidash, Bolton, Mist Energy, Lycanroc. Ooh, and that's pretty. A, that? This is a. I guess this is just a full art. I think, or maybe it's <laughs> maybe it's an alternate. I'll have to check. But of a Farapareg G or EX. Cool. So uh, you prevent all damage done to it by basic EX Pokemon, and that's an all the time effect, not a, like oh. during this turn. So he's unique in that he's an EX that doesn't take damage from other basic EXs. And then he has a 3 energy attack that does 160 damage plus 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Hmm. Provided they have no protection against that. And then you gotta do your code card. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go with Lightning. Water. Metal. <laughs> That's basically water. Yeah, totally. Mr. Mime! Right. Oh my goodness, he's belly up. He's having a good day. Victini, Bronzor, Salvatore, Bronzong, Excadrill, Knocked Owl. I don't, what was this? Behem. It's like messing with my head backwards. And Roaring Moon. Okay. Cool. I like that Raichu though. He's upside down. The Pikachu reminded me of Puppy Eyes, and then you have Raichu with his like belly up. Like. Uh, I think they're trying to turn Pikachu into a puppy. <laughs> They'll never do it. He's a mouse thing. A mouse dog. Mouse till the end. <laughs> uh, Water. Dark. <laughs> they were trying to celebrate their right tune. They are, yes. Cutie Fly, Drillber, Relor, Relor, Ponita, Halifin, Mother Screamtail, Heavy Baton, Mudbray, Charger Bug, and Winsicott. Okay. Okay, we're getting to the end ish. I, we... I have three. Well, this is. I have one, and then we'll both have three after that, yep. right? So, six packs remaining. Oh We've basically gone through a box. With our extra. There we go. With our extra few that we had. Yeah. Okay. This. Metal. Lightning. Lightning. Okay, we got Bronzor and Medina and. Do du oh, Duogen. These are hard. Haunter, Sandy Shocks, Hand Trimmer, Ravaska. Is that what we said? Raichu again. Metacham. And oh golly. For alligator. For alligator. So this was one of the pre-release promos. Once during your turn, you may put five damage counters onto this Pokemon, and if you do, attacks used by it do 120 extra damage this turn to the active. Um he only has one attack unless you're attaching a TM, but that does 160 damage but can't be used two turns in a row so you while you're opening your pack well you mentioned that you guys had a ton of people that came out did anyone have like what was the best pull that someone had did anyone get like an ace spec did anyone we, get there were a number of people that got ace specs one person that i know of got the prime catcher ace spec okay and that's one you're talking about that everyone's yeah, like that's, excited about that's the gizmo one that everyone says is gonna go in every deck yeah but doesn't always that's cool and then for who like was there did someone was it someone able to make a really cool deck that like won or went undefeated or we had so many people that I honestly don't know what any <laughs> of the decks built were. Okay. I didn't know if okay. Bramblin, Giraffereg, Roselia, Cutie Fly, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance, Colossal, Toridon, Iron Valiant, and another Relicamp. Hmm. Okay. Why was Relicamp important again? I don't remember. He, so, he's a little important now in that he can make some decks. He, he lets, so, what he, what he does, he lets an evolved Pokemon use the attack of one of its pre-evolutions. Oh, okay. So, where that's relevant right now is that there's an Incineroar EX that has 300 and some odd, like it's a 320, 330, 340, somewhere in there, HP. And there's a Litten 
that has an attack that does 20 is either 20 or 30 damage per damage counter that's on it. Oh, uh, okay. So that accelerates real fast. I think it's 30. Okay. So it accelerates really fast because if you have like 300, if you have like 110 damage on you from like yeah. you know, anything, um, you can then be hitting for 330 and knocking out okay. almost anything. Okay. Uh, water. Fire. Dark. Okay. I need like a cool card on this one. Mudbray, Ghastly, Venison. Dunsparce, Screamtail, Zara Aura, Iron Valiant, Golet, Hoot Hoot, and Real <laughs> Well, you're killing that, so I'm going to put him here. Okay. Because I finally got one. Okay. <sighs> Royal Camps is one of those cards that you probably want to have one of, maybe two of, but beyond that. You, so there's no use for it? Yeah, it's not like you're going to have decks that play full play sets on them. Yeah. Water. Oh, I didn't even guess. What was it? It was grass. I was okay. keeping you from seeing it, so you could Oh, <laughs> I would have guessed grass. Yep. Sure. Okay. Chatot. Cotney. Carvana. Ekans. Iron Valiant. Sandy Shocks. Reuniclus. Whoa, a backwards card. That's interesting. Oh, wow. It's just a toted aisle. That's strange, though. Keep more. And Gouging Fire EX. What's that? So this is, you know, Raging Bolt is the... Um, Raikou? Raikou. This is the Entei. Oh. And it's an ancient Pokemon. It has a two energy, 60 damage attack that, you know, whatever. And then it has a three energy, two fire, one colorless attack that does 260 base damage. Which oh, is wow. a pretty big number. There are ways to, like, buff that up, sure. obviously. Hero Escape. Or not Hero Escape, the Maximum Belt, for instance. Yeah. Um, but the effect on it is that you cannot use the attack again until it has left the active. Oh, so that's, okay. So that's... The only card that has ever had that effect. That's interesting. But I think it could see play in a Charizard deck mm -hmm. as a heavy hitter at the beginning of the game because it's three energy and that's what Charizard EX attaches. Oh, okay. So you can, instead of being constrained to do the 180, you can now do 260. So I'd be like ready. Yep. And here's the code card for that gouging fire. Your side is going off the map, which makes me think that I don't have enough cool cards, but... That's okay. I mean, that's that's somewhat true. <laughs> I, think, I think you should get hits in all the rest <laughs> of the packs. I have this one in one more, so that would be nice. Okay, we have lightning. Fire. Oh, yeah. Okay, I feel it. It's, it's happening. It's Pikachu. Ghastly. Elgin. Elgin. Sorry. Oh, okay. Slizzlepeed. Okay, I'm just going to start naming them weird things. Uh, Foragers. Oh, okay, or not. Full <laughs> level lab. Go lurk. Turtnator again. We got a. Oh, look, there's Happy oh. Grandpa. See, you got a hit. I told you. I did. And then I got another. <laughs> he was like, it's not enough Drampa for you. Okay. Happy Grandpa Dragon. And there are two small children riding on his back, which makes me think of the never ending story. It does make me think. It, like, Just it, in case it, you need to say this again. Never ending story. Did you share it with her? No, but I will. Thanks for reminding me. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is your last pack. Yep, I expect to be sharing the code card from the last pack magic water. on my side. Fire. Oh. It was water. Wait, was that two in a row? Yes. Drillber, Relor, Relor. I want to say Relor every time, even though I know it's Relor. <laughs> Ponita, Chanot, Perilous Jungle, Unpheasant, Eerie, Victini, Shiftry, and another for Alligator. Oh, man. Didn't come true to me. Okay, last pack. True last pack magic. True last pack. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting the music, you know? It's okay. Let's see. Grass. Fire. Oh, water. Okay, ready? Okay, Snom, Pikachu, Scyther, Slizzlepeed, Sharpedo, Metagross, Roserade, Snom, Grottle. I see something. Uh, what are me? Just a I was like, I saw something. I was like, maybe it's something. Yeah, they have so many now with the shiny borders. Yeah, well, and that one has like kind of design, like yeah, it could be a background or something. So this is what we got. This is what we got. Okay. So this. This is this what I'm seeing here is lots of bulk that eventually will be listed online for sale. Yeah. <laughs> Which, you if know, anyone needs that, some cards? Up. We uh, are Hoopa Hideout, the store name on TCG Player. Yeah. Uh, we don't have a brick and mortar store, so we can't list any of this stuff right away. But we'll list it as soon as we can. Yeah. And we try to make sure that our prices remain competitive. Yeah. And we pack, I pack them. So, you know, if you need want an order packed by me, I will pack your order. Okay. That's so, what we got. So what is our real ending here? 
All right. Are so, we moving all these things? Yeah, we can. Just okay. Buy future. Buy ancient Pokemon. We can we can stack the half hits okay. because we got enough real hits that halves, <laughs> halves don't count count anymore. Okay. That was only while we didn't have okay. actual hits. So I got Dream Oh, C dot. Everyone knows that's the one right there. So I got my Ace back. Gengar, Razor Ball. Oh, look, we can kind of match them here. But this one. Okay. Well, clearly you have. My mine aren't even on here. Look, there's no room for me. Boom. We'll put mine here. Okay, so you ended up with more than I did. So that's your half. This is my half. Uh, okay, so let, let's actually match. The... I did. So like we have those two. Right. Raging Bolt. Technically, this should probably be like that. Right? Oh, okay. I don't know. And then I don't have a match for that, but I have these three <laughs> against it, and I think that these three probably need so. that one. Yes, but I got some cool cards. You did. We both did. So. Hopefully you're happy with that. Yeah, some of these will definitely be for sale, and some of them will definitely not be for sale. <laughs> uh, but with that, we'd like to thank you for tuning in and watching our opening video. Um, there will be more content coming soon. Hashtag TM. <laughs> <laughs>